A few years back, I noticed something odd about the streets here in the United States. Now I know what you might be thinking. Is he gonna devote an entire video to residential street widths? My name is Dave Amos. Uh, I'm in my third year as a, a PhD student in the City and Regional Planning Program and uh, also a YouTuber. And my research is on um, looking at pedestrian path networks in suburban areas. Um, so most neighborhoods don't have them, but some do, and I'm going to do an evaluation to see if that's sort of a useful piece of infrastructure, if it gets people out of their cars and walking more. My, my research interests have long uh, been urban design and transportation, particularly the design of streets. So uh, prior to this, I co-authored a book on uh, complete street redesigns, um, and so that sort of interest in streets has led me to thinking about walkability and pedestrian paths. So my YouTube channel is called City Beautiful. It's a channel about cities and city planning. So uh, most of the videos will tackle a city planning concept or um, talk about like a city and what they're going through uh, with regards to city planning. Um, so that's the, that's the gist of it. Prior to starting here at UC Berkeley, I was a city planner at a private firm in Sacramento where I live. Um, and we would sometimes have community meetings where we want to explain a concept, a planning concept, and more often than not there was not a video about city planning topics. Um, so that kind of stuck with me. And then when I started here at Berkeley, a couple summers ago, I taught the Introduction to City Planning class. And when I was making those lectures, I was like, huh, some of these could be kind of useful videos for you know, anybody. Later on in that year, I just decided to start making one video to see if I could do it. Then I released my first video uh, like around New Year's 2017. So I've been doing it for about uh, 16 months or so now. I make my videos in the evenings and weekends. The kids are in bed, I've done my work for the day, and I just have like a couple hours in the evening before I go to bed. I decided, well, that's some good time that otherwise I'd just probably be spending watching Netflix or something. I can still get my stuff done with school, but also do the YouTube channel. It's, uh, it's a good balance so far. My goal here at Berkeley is to finish the program and get a job as a tenure track professor. And that hasn't changed even with regards to my YouTube channel. My goal for my YouTube channel is just to keep growing. I mean, I have a real strong passion in educating people about city planning and YouTube is really the, one of the best places to do it. You know, YouTube has like 2 billion users watching videos and if you want to get your message out or if you want to teach somebody, that's really the best way to do it. I don't have any concrete goals, like I need to hit like a million subscribers or something. I, I am pretty aware that I'm doing a, uh, a channel on city planning. It's just not, it's a niche, it's a niche channel. Um, but I'm happy that it's found a community and an audience so far. In the first six months I had like 16 subscribers and like half of them were my family. <laughs> um, so I was really making videos for nobody for a really long time. And then like in about October of last year, it just sort of took off, like um, YouTube decided that the algorithm liked my videos and uh, started you know, showing my video to lots of people and it kind of grew from there. Um, so it's been a weird uh, transition from going from like nobody watching to all of a sudden like now I have like thousands of people who like watch a video. Uh, there's a lot more like uh, pressure on me I feel like to do a good video because I'm like oh now people are actually watching. But it's been really fun, like I really enjoy the comments um, and lots of people who want to know more about the topic and it's for me it's another extension of teaching so when somebody asks a question about the video like I'm happy to respond if it's a good question to point them in a direction to get more information or clarify something that they had a question about in the video so that back and forth it's another reason I really like YouTube it, it's, um, it's allowed me to have that kind of two-way communication if you want to start a YouTube channel uh, I'd say do it I mean I think the the hardest part is making that first video. It's a little bit nerve-wracking, right, to put something out there. It's always like scary to like, okay, like I'm gonna say this and people are gonna react to it. I mean, I would be positive. And if you post it to YouTube, there's definitely gonna be negative reactions no matter what you do. Uh, and I think the other hard thing to do is stick with it. Um, on YouTube, um, you know, initially nobody's gonna watch. Like, unless you really are aggressively promoting all the time, it takes a while to sort of catch on and you just need to keep making videos and keep making videos and you'll get there. I think um, if you make videos that you like to watch, um, guarantee there's somebody else in that 2 billion YouTube users who would also like to watch it. It's just a matter of having patience and finding those people. Um, so sticking with it and just going for it are my two big uh, recommendations. <laughs>